Hello everybody, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be looking at, at the severe risk for parts of Indiana, I, I mean Illinois, Indiana, and Missouri. And then we're also just going to briefly be going over the heat wave, the mini heat wave that we got going in, in the central United States, in the south central United States, and then also for the southwest United States. First, we're going to look at our um, severe thunderstorm risk. We have a slight risk anywhere in this yellow. So that's from Nebraska, Kansas, Missouri, Kentucky, Indiana, I mean, uh, yeah, Indiana, Illinois, and even parts of Iowa. And then um, inside of that, we have an enhanced risk in that orange, which um, if you're in that enhanced risk, you, you could see uh, some hail, flooding, well, flash flooding, tornadoes, possible, not likely, but possible, um, and damaging winds. Now, we're going to look at your, we have a 2% chance here for your tornado risk. 2% uh, chance anywhere in this green, so par for parts of Nebraska, South Dakota, and Wyoming, and then also for parts of Illinois, Indiana, um, Iowa, and Missouri, we have a 2% risk for tornadoes. So, not a high risk, but we could definitely see it. If we do see a tornado, I wouldn't. I I think it'll probably be an EF zero tornado, nothing more than that. Maybe an EF one. Now we have we're gonna look at our wind. We have a thirty percent. Um, wait, yeah, our, our wind. We have a thirty percent chance in that red, and then in that black, that black kind of shaded area, you're gonna see significant um wind damage if you do get wind damage. So. If you're in that shaded black area especially, you could see probably some shingles flying off, maybe some down power lines and trees. So uh, just be just be careful when you're coming back from work. Make sure you're not, yeah, just make sure you're taking the safest route and not going at a high speed because um, there could be some down power lines and trees on the road. Now we're just going to look at our hail. We have a 15% chance in this yellow and then a significant hail threat for that black shaded area in parts of Nebraska and Wyoming. Here's the here's the radar. This is what the this is simulated radar. So this is what it should look like. So for for 10 p.m. I mean 10 um I mean 10 a.m. this is what it's going to look like. You see over parts of Illinois it's if you remember yesterday if you watched the video we i we went over the risk for Iowa and then also for the northeast and that really heavy band from Iowa is just going to um go from Iowa down into Illinois and it's going to kind of be like this and then just move down southeast so that's the same system that we were looking at from yesterday uh this is for 3 p.m. you see it moving over parts of Chicago, uh, into Illinois, Missouri, and you see that line, it's just a really strong line that's going to be quickly moving in and out of the area, and by, by let's say, maybe 8 o'clock, it'll be out of the entire Illinois area, and then it'll be into the Kentucky, uh, Indiana, and Missouri area, and then we see this n next batch of storms, it's going to kind of move this way and that that batch of storms could also be severe but we'll have to talk about that when we get closer to it this is going to be for tomorrow around and uh, tomorrow morning and then into the afternoon here's a zoomed in radar of uh, Indiana and Illinois and then also for parts of Kentucky and Missouri and this is for right now this this would be for 4 p.m. 5 p.m., 6 p.m., 7 p.m. So you see, it quickly moves out of the area, but when you when it is over your area, you could have reduced visibility and damaging winds. Here is the precipitation forecast. So uh, how much rainfall is gonna fall? You're probably gonna see anywhere in this yellow to red. That's anywhere from one to five inches. So I'm I'm gonna say anywhere in this area that I'm circling right now. That's probably you're probably gonna see one to three inches out of this storm. So, nothing crazy, nothing like 8 inches or anything like that, but definitely something that could flood some city streets. Uh, if you live out um, in the suburbs, you're probably not going to be flooded because there's more grass, but some areas could definitely be flooded from this system. 
And now we're just going to look at our precipitation. I mean, not precipitation, temperatures. <laughs> sorry. Uh, so for today, we're going to be seeing temperatures um, really cooling off. Yesterday, we had temperatures in the hundreds. Now we have some isolated areas in the hundreds. And also for the southwest, we're in the hundreds. But for most of this area, anywhere in here, we're uh, in the low 90s. And then anywhere outside of that, you're in the upper eight upper 80s to low 70s depends on where you are now for tomorrow we're going to see temperatures in the higher 90s so a bit warmer that day um a bit warmer tomorrow and also for the southwest again we're pretty warm we're still around 105 110 degrees and uh also one thing i want to note is that for for tuesday night you see this really uh well not really cold but this cooler air dipping in from canada we talked about that in the um weekly forecast i put up yesterday and that's just gonna it's gonna keep on dipping down every day but it's gonna move a bit more to the east so those temperatures could be in the 50s and 40s um which is well below average for this time of year we heat up again but not as warm you see though heat is really suppressed down into texas and then it kind of expands here for the southwest into california as well and then we're just gonna this is for friday this is the last day that we're gonna show the temperatures for it's gonna be in the low to mid 90s for almost everywhere including the southwest southwest and then uh one more thing with the with the cooler air Friday night, the northeast could be impacted by this. Temperatures in the 40s and 50s for overnight lows. So definitely a bit more chilly than we're used to for this time of year. Anyway, guys, if you did enjoy that video, please consider subscribing. And thank you guys for all the support that I've been seeing lately. It's just been amazing how much my channel has been going over the past couple of days. So thank you guys for that. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.